I am doing my personal quote and blog for the 20th of June 2022. My quote for today. We have forgotten that we have forever walked this earth. We place importance in things that have no worth. Because in the end, all, all that we own will be taken by others or as garbage away be thrown. That is why nothing is permanent and we have to learn to let it all go. We are so much more than we think we know. Once we are on the other side, the truths will be revealed and we will have nowhere to hide. We are going to discover where we place too much faith in those who will never be able to sit at heaven's gate. That is when our own karma we must then own and listen to the wails of the other drones and take responsibility for the suffering that was caused by believing some lies. At the time, we must evaluate and apprise. Once we learn why we needed to believe, only then will be, we be able to unweave the patterns that caused the blindness to linger and caused us to blame and point our finger, often at those who did us no harm and allow us to use their lie to alarm. And my blog for today. Before I left for the festival, I managed to get all the remaining flowers planted and I ate sugar snap peas right off the vine. Oh, so yummy. Once I get back, I must really get going on using the lettuce, the bok choy, the mint, and it's all going crazy. Sounds like Asian food moments to me. I love all food and there are some things about Asian food and South American food that sparks my mind and heart. I look forward to getting creative in the kitchen now that I'm going to be back. I have never seen the garden so alive and happy it has taken years to get it to this place. There have been so many levels and attempts that formed a chaotic pathway towards something that works and that is sustainable. There are no failures in gardens, only realizations that cause us to change our mind and modify what we thought we wanted with what might work better. We listen to the land, listen to the plants and their needs, listen to the soil, and listen to our hearts. Everything is a constant experiment. Everything includes learning. I feel my dear dead friend Helen so much when I'm in the garden, and I appreciate how she showed me her spiritual pathway towards death, which included her gardening, and the cleansing process that worked with the soil, working with the soil gave her. I can feel her helping me and showing me the magic of the peaceful processes that generate beauty. Gardens require much love and care. We put our very essence into the soil. There is something so wonderful about bringing land that is less fertile into a place of wonder, lushness, and the manifestation of a space that gives back more than it was given. We live in a world where soils are being depleted and so putting the right nutrients back into soil allows food to have more vitamins, minerals, and nutrition. May each person find their own inner and outer garden. May your life become the culmination and fruition of the many choices currently arising in each and every moment. May you eventually experience the great beauty and abundance that this life's journey has manifested. May you taste the deliciousness of, hap of happy and healthy plants, and may it make you smile with the gratitude of a job well done. Thanks, everyone.